Greetings programs! I'm Young Napoleon and I want to welcome you back to my Victoria 3 Let's Play series. This is episode 72 of a Sweden learning to play run with no mods and no DLC. <coughs> Excuse me. We're still working on building up the economy, which I think is a very fundamental aspect to understand in this game. I haven't uh, done a whole lot of military expansion, mostly because, you know, I don't have the military power and military power requires a healthy economy and I've been learning the economy. So, excuse me, with that in mind, I'm content with kind of the progress that I've made. I've learned a lot. I'm kind of going tall with Sweden. I've got a lot of colonies, so I'm not terribly disappointed. It's still only 1898. We've still got a good 36, 38 years left in game. Uh, 30, what did I say, 36? 38, 30, 37, because it's December. The year's almost over. Uh, let's check out this boiler explosion. Scania. Or Scania. Probably Scania. You know, when you consider the, the region that I'm trying to reform is Scandinavia, Scania is probably the... If I had to guess. Uh, let's see. The lower strata become more radical. No thank you. Industrialists... Get some approval and political strength. Workers should not be exploited and forced into such conditions. The upper strata becomes more radical. Trade unions. Okay, I do want the trade unions to gain some, some power. Or the middle strata. Indust industry itself is a cancer. What's the matter, Mary? You want outside? I think Mary wants to go out. I'll let him out here in a second. Um... I wonder if it's possible to play this game and like complete, I, there's no way you can't play the game and ignore industry. Uh, okay. Workers should not be exploited and forced into such conditions. Okay. Now give me just a second to let Mary out. Here you go, buddy. Okay, I hope you'll excuse me for that. I keep the door shut because it's right next to the heater. And when that kicks off, it makes an awful racket that just makes for horrible audio. Uh, but that means the cats have to uh, be manually let out of the room. Fortunately, I don't have cats that like to do the, you know, the in and out sort of a thing where they like, they go out and then they immediately turn around, let me back in. That whole uh, stereotype. My cats have been pretty good about that. Building convoys, uh, expensive government goods because we're building stuff, got a bunch of unproductive trade routes still. Why? wonder, can I adjust my own tariffs for this? Yeah, I still, I don't, like for some of these things, if they're unproductive, I don't, like if they're, if they're basic needs, like uh, tools, furniture, I don't care if these are unproductive because it means they're cheap. But for stuff like luxury clothes and porcelain, I don't know what to do about that. I just don't know enough about the inner workings of the game. Uh, what I do know... Hello. 
what I do know is that I've got a massive um, investment pool right now. 4.25 million and that I need to be taken advantage of. So we're going to go ahead and unpause. Let's go into buildings and... You know what, let's first let's go to the market and see I've got everything selected now, right? Okay. Can't do anything about wine, oil, railway. I, ooh, I should build some railways. Rubber discovered in Luzon. Okay. Ah. Okay, so let's look at development. Railways. I've got I've got several buildings here. Okay. Got the infrastructure. I mean, actually, I don't have to worry about infrastructure. This increases infrastructure. So let's look at building it where I'm I'm low on infrastructure. Maybe Patagonia. Nope. Don't have the population. Okay, there. All right. It's a small. Labor market, or small labor pool, I should say. They're they're okay. Mm, maybe Norland. Yeah, let's do Norland. Eastern New Guinea. Now let's 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 look at building some in uh, in Africa. Let's see. 37, 23,000, 13. Nope, I was looking at the average. 115, this might be a good spot. Their infrastructure is only 13. Yeah, let's pop a railway down here, I think. That's a good one. Could be a good one as well. Let's build some railroads. Equator. 20. Maybe. No, I think those are good starts. Uh, let's see. Does railway come out of my investment pool? I think so. Can be funded. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Oh my. That does not look like it's going well for the U.S. At all. They probably just haven't gotten their troops over there yet. I don't know how they're going to. Do that if they don't have a barracks here, they don't have a way. Oh yeah, here we go. That's where they'd land. So it is possible for them to get some troops in there, but my goodness. It does not look like it's going well. Anyways, okay. Back to the investment pool. We got some railways coming in here. French North Germany interest activated. Oh boy. Uh, okay. So we can go for some rubber. What is rubber used in? Textile, motor, electrics, barracks, conscription center. Okay, it is probably something that I want to have a lot of. 
Oh, and then building up the railways will decrease the... I wonder if it's better to do this sooner rather than later so that you can slowly ease into like your other goods uh, requirements. Because like, if I were to wait for this to get to level 20, right, and then try to switch over to automatic irrigation, that's going to be like 200 engines that I need versus 20 or something, you know? So I wonder if it's if it's smarter but it decreases... Oh no, it just... It does decrease employment a little bit. It just changes it around most for the most part. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Okay, so let's go ahead... Let's see. They've got the... They're working on the infrastructure. They've got the peasant... The uh, labor pool. 0.86101138. We'll do some coffee there. I should get the coal mines up here. Sorry guys, your lot in life is to work the coal mines. I know that's not fun. To make sure my... Military doesn't get too far behind. Oh, they've got lead. Yeah, we're gonna have to... I think lead can be used by the investment flow. Okay. Okay, let's see. Steel and glass are both expensive. That's because of all the construction, I'm sure. But let's go ahead and expand my steel mill. Or should I oof. Let's look at the market. How's the market looking? What is this? Fine art. Okay, I want to see what kind, of a, what kind of an effect these two things have. It's not going to be an immediate jump. They've got to build up, so that's fine. We're still really hurting on clothes. Okay. Let's let's build some clothes, shall we? Uh, I think we've got textile mill here. Should we switch to electric? No, not yet. Let's go ahead and get some. Pretty sure that can come out of the investment pool. Yes. Okay. Once this gets. Once I get rid of the debt, we'll drop the um, taxes back down, I think. Uh, and let's make sure... You know, you know what we really need to do? Let's switch our... Barracks. Let's get some of our barracks back over into the trench. Yeah, let's increase them to an even 20. Where's the next biggest one? Okay. We'll start easing. Let's see. Trench infantry. Gonna require some more ammunition. That's fine. Oh, I missed out on establishing the film arts. That's fine. Expand power plants. Enable supply of power. Workforce greater than 75. Cash reserves greater than 25. Building level is greater than or equal to 5. Okay. I'd like to consider that. This one does not time out. Public transit. What does this do? 
The recent uh, introduction of elevators. More than 75% of eligible buildings. Urban centers, arcades, cash reserves greater than 25, workforce greater than 75. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and add that to the journal entries there. No migration controls. I would like to... Can I do that? Why not? Let's see. Human rights. Migration controls. Supported by one interest group, but they're not in power, probably. Industrialists, yep. Okay. Automatic machine guns is about to time out. Freedom of trade. Oh, I don't think this is going to happen, so we're going to take that off of the... Not anytime soon. Um, okay. Right, so this is going to increase... Probably. The change that I just made. The trench warfare. It's going to increase the need for ammunition and small arms at some point. Trade routes need convoys. Those are starting to hurt again. Okay. Now let's come in here. Import. Just to see, I've got 675 convoys available. Why are you telling me I need convoys? Lies. Okay. And pause. We're looking at increasing our military strength here. Where's our next biggest number? Let's shut this down. Five, four, 15 is already set there. Scania, I think. Trench infantry. How close are we? 822 to 935. Niger Delta. I should definitely switch this one over. Oh yeah. I want opium. But I'm not sure where to get it from. Import. Opium. Okay, we do have some sources here. Would that change my power, my product my power projection at all? No. That was rather callous. No. Uh, machine guns. Oh. Let's see. Oh, there's where the rubber comes in. That increases by, by a marginal amount. This, however. Yeah, I've got the construction to build that up fast. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Cross the board. Expensive military goods, artillery and ammunition. Okay. Ooh, hello. And now the U.S. wants an alliance. Ooh. Guess who's a great power? Ooh, yeah. Okay. Uh... First things first, should we accept this alliance with the U.S.? I think yes. We're going to take an alliance with the U.S. Next, we're going to uh, make sure that our artillery and ammunition is under... All right, 
right, so let's see how much we're off. Just 179 in the ammunition. So we need to get ammunition up. What did I say? 179? Okay. Yes, 179. So 180. And even 180. Back down to munitions. Okay, so let's look at Zealand. This is 90 per level, so I really only need to increase it by two. So if we pop you up by two, that's going to increase the demand on explosives and lead by 80 and 70. So let's go to buildings again, where our explos explosives are made in chemical plants, I believe. We've got one in Zealand. Yes, okay. So that's about to get expensive. Uh, let's see, what's, what's explosive, what do explosives look like on the market? Already got a shortage of 36. All right. Let's go into Sealand. Yeah, I want all of my military related stuff in my homeland. I do not want to put any of this in my colonies. Uh, so let's see. That was in the. Was it fertilizer or chem chemical? That's what the word is. Okay. So we're definitely going to need to make more. That just produces more fertilizer. This produces more explosives and less fertilizer. But it uses electricity. That's fine. What's my what is my my power plant? What are you looking? Balance is 105. So nobody's using electricity, I guess. So that's good. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch you over to the brine electrolysis. Let's unpause for a second just to see how things unfold. Why I have to click that twice? Uh, and artillery. I need to. Which one? I think uh, that's also in the munitions plants. I think Scania is my artillery. No. Small arms is what's making. Right. The... Arms Industries. Right. Okay. So Svealand is making hmm. artillery, cannons, smoothbores, breech loaders. I think I think Gotaland was my dedicated artillery. So this is going to decrease the number of artillery that I build. Okay. Um So I think the thing to do here is to just increase the so do I have the... Yeah. Okay, we'll knock that up a couple. Repeating rifles. Bolt action rifles. I'm not sure. Will this increase... 
all of a sudden I've forgotten how to play the game. Like, I'm looking at the plus 100 total. And this, plus 50 more in total. Right, so that's more, right? Yeah. But we'll wait there until we see that I've got a expensive um, small arms or something. Okay, I think this is where we're going to call it for today, guys. It's a good stopping point. 25-minute video for a final video of the week. We just attained great power status, something I did not think was going to happen in this game. I wonder if we can... What kind of new... Thanks to our customs union. Oh, I should have been bankrolling them. If I bankroll them, man. Their attitude is cautious. I think that's better than what it was at the start of the week, I think. But yeah, so we'll we'll see. Okay, so we've Yeah. We're gonna call it. We will start off next week with trying to see if our new status as a great power lets us um, start to peel some of these people into our... Uh, into our sphere of... Oh, I've got a... shortage. Okay our sphere of influence. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please be sure to do all that YouTube stuff. As always, I would take it as a kindness. And always remember, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. I hope we all learned something today. And I'll see you guys next time.